partly just the, the elegance of it, the things that you can describe, the powerful way that you can describe lots of different processes, cosmological processes or biological processes in um, more complex equations. But it is really satisfying, even from a young age, I do remember doing that sort of thing at lunchtime, doing long divisions or that sort of thing, because it was satisfying to figure something out that when you look at it, you think, I don't know the answer to that, but if you just um, work through the problem mathematically, then you can figure out the answer. I try to build mathematical models that describe um, infectious disease transmission at the population level and use these to figure out optimal ways to intervene in pandemic scenarios. Well, I did find when I was in astronomy, there was probably a lack of role models, women who I, whose careers I thought, I want my life to end up like that. I want that sort of work-life balance. Well, I think everyone who's done a PhD hits barriers. <laughs> But I'm not sure that they were to do with being born inside. I mean, there are lots of other things that can make it, it difficult. I guess it gives me a sense that I'm contributing to society. I'm giving back in some way by solving problems which have sort of been identified as global issues and of importance for everyone. There are lots of, of moments of satisfaction and even though you have good days and bad days. Um, the days when your paper is accepted or you, you make a, a sort of leap in your understanding about the best way to model something are, are worth it in the long run and make the job enjoyable.